Faster my good evening and welcome to the Max Radio Folk Show with me, John Barker, playing you the best in folk and roots music from the Isle of Man and around the world. And I start with a message to my friends in the UK. Bring down the covenant, man, bring it to its heel. Sure is a hoot when the prosecute you for doing what you feel. Bring down the government, bring it to its knees. If you want your rights, you're gonna have to fight, so bring down the government, please. That was, of course, Lindisfarne with Bring Down the Government from Dingley Dell, released in 1972. Things don't change, do they? Uh, So next, the Urban Folk Quartet from their album The Escape, which was released in 2015. They are Joe Broughton, who plays fiddle, guitar, mandolin and bass, Paloma Trigas, who's on fiddle and vocals, Tom Chapman on percussion, and Dan Walsh on banjo, guitar and vocals. In fact, Dan is singing on this track, which is 500 Miles, and Dan is coming to the Institute in June, which is very exciting, so watch out for tickets for that. This train I ride on, it's a hundred coaches long. You can hear the whistle go a hundred miles. And that lonesome whistle call, it's the mournfulest of all. For we're five hundred miles from our home. And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow. I'm gone, but 
by the train that I left on You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles And I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow For I'm five hundred miles from my home From my home From my home Take me home Take me home That was the urban folk quarter they really are absolutely top of their game when it comes to musicianship and well worth seeing live as i have done a couple of times now and look forward to seeing dan in june now sue elise a cellist who lives in scotland has collaborated with many artists on their cds and other recordings and live work over the years but for the first time in 2022 she released uh, her own album which is called dialogues and it's a series of collaborations with the artists that she has worked with over the years and it's a beautiful album i do recommend it much of it is instrumental, but there are some songs on there too. And uh, this particular one I picked out is, uh, it's a long one for you, it's over eight minutes long, but it's well worth it. It's Melo Tifty's Annie and it features Kareem Polwart. At Melo Tifty there lived a man In the neighbourhood of Ivy And he had a lovely daughter fair And her name was Bonnie Annie Lord Fivey had a trumpeter Whose name was Andrew Lamy He had the air to win the hair Tifty's Annie Lord Fivey He rode by the door Where left this Tifty's Annie And this trumpeter rode him before Even the same Andrew Lamy Her mother Order to the door, saying, Come here to me, my Annie. Did you see a bonnier man than the trumpeter of Fivey? Nathan. She said, but sigh and sore, twas a loss for Bonnie Annie. She dashed me on her hair, it was won by the trumpeter of Ivy. A night when all lay in their bed. Sleep it soon, but Annie Love so oppressed her tender breast Thinking on Andrew Lamy Oh, the first time me my love met It was in the woods so Fivey We kiss and sweet He did me greet And he called me Bonnie Annie And it's up and down In Tifty's den Where the burn runs clean Tune 
So that was Milo Tifti's Annie from the Cellist Sue Ali's uh, new album called Dialogues. Well worth checking out that one. 
Now, music for a found harmonium is a well-known tune in sessions. It was made popular by Sharon Shannon many years ago, but it's actually by the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. It was first on their album Broadcasting From Home in 1984. And I wanted to play that original version, but I suddenly realised I've only got it on vinyl. Uh, Now I've just seen that there is actually a turntable in the studio, so I'm thinking of doing a a vinyl-only special uh, show one week. That'll be interesting. Certainly a challenge, won't it? So, But anyway, this, this version is from their live album, which was called When in Rome. Now, Owen Williams is a talented young musician from Castletown. He's away at college at the moment, so I had a chat with him over Zoom the other afternoon. He's released uh, an EP called Nastrif and EPCO, and he'll tell you more about it in this chat. OK, so I'm joined now by Owen Williams, um, who is a, a young Isle of Man musician who's just released an EP. Hello, Owen. Hello. Thank you for having me on. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Owen, and uh, where you are now. Well, uh, I was born and raised on the island. Um, I'm 21 and I'm in my uh, final year now of university in Liverpool. Um, I'm doing music production over here. Um, and yeah, uh, the EP was uh, released a few weeks ago. And what instruments do you play then, Owen? Uh, well, on the on the EP there, it's um, the tin whistle and the accordion. Um, I grew up, I was very lucky really. I, I got the chance um, to learn <clears throat> traditional music when I was when I was young um with the Brie movement which yeah. is run by Culture Vannon and yeah it, it was uh it's great to be able to give back to the scene I suppose 
Absolutely. I, I mean, I've seen you down in a session, perhaps at O'Donnell's or somewhere, and uh, yeah. greatly admired your playing. Very, very talented young man. Well, you're too kind. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, what led you to uh, make this particular recording? Well, um, to be honest, um, I got some, um, I got a, a synth synthesizer for my, for my birthday last year, and I was keen to use it for something, um, you know, do a project with it. And of course, my biggest passion musically is trad, trad music. And um, I thought it would be a nice challenge and a fun thing to do to, to mix synthesizers with, with our traditional Gaelic music. Yeah, it's it's certainly quite a, a different sound in places. I, when I was listening to it before, it's uh, get, that synth is definitely to the fore in places. Yes, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, it must have been good fun to do that. Yeah. Definitely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play a track now. So, which track should we play? I thought perhaps uh, the second track, As and Air. Um, I think it, it might be my the one I am most kind of pleased with. It means out of the air. Um, it's well, it's funny. I, I went to the studio to record the whistle, and I realised I'd, um, I'd forgotten the tune I'd, I'd written for it. So I had to, yeah, very uh, organised. So uh, I had to kind of come up with it you know out of the air as he's right as he, so that's the uh, origin of the of the title
So there we go. That was uh, one track from Owen Williams' uh, new EP, which is uh, you can get from Bandcamp. Tell us a bit about uh, how you can get hold of that, Owen. Uh, well, as you say, it's up on Bandcamp, which is an app or a website, um, and you can listen to it over you know over the internet that way. Um, you can purchase for seven pounds, I think. You can purchase the EP, and that allows you to download it, so you can have it on your computer or phone, and you can listen to it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Band, Bandcamp is an excellent supporter of uh, musicians like yourself who don't uh, yeah. who are working independently, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's good so, to watch out for Bandcamp Fridays when uh, they don't take any commission, do they? They uh, give all the money to the artist. That's right. Actually, I released it originally on the last Bandcamp Friday we had back in uh, February the second, I think. Good. There's one about every month, I think, isn't there? So it's it's, there it's a good, good time to do it then, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely. Excellent. So, um, have you got any more plans for music? Well, I've got lots of uh, lots of stuff with uni currently. Um, lots of bits and pieces I have to do for the course. Yes, if you're in your final year, you'll be a busy man. Oh, very much so. Yeah, yeah, and it's um, it'll get even busier still. So I'm led to believe. So um, I've got lots of school work to do um well, uni work to do um but apart from that um, i'm just trying to keep um playing as much as i can there's a session just down the road here in liverpool an irish session every every other wednesday and um okay which bar is that in Owen, for anyone who might be in liverpool that's shenanigans on um dale street i think oh yeah i can picture that myself yeah i know where that is yeah yeah it's good good um group of people who who put it on the very very kind and welcoming and it's um good standard of music too excellent oh i might look out for that good so show uh thanks for this owen i will play one more track and uh, then let you get back to your studies because you're obviously a very busy man so uh, what track should we play finally here well, i thought um maybe the the first track Taurus Gusbanger, um and this one i wrote well i wrote the tune originally uh, a year and a half ago, maybe I was going down to Bangor in North Wales, mm-hmm. which is where my a good friend of mine studies. Um, it was his twenty first birthday, so we were uh, we were all meeting up down there, and um, I thought I'd use the tune that I wrote to you know on the EP. So uh, that's that's it. Excellent. Well, thanks for that, and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you back on the island, perhaps in the summer, and maybe get to a session or two. I hope so. Absolutely. Right. Uh, so this is uh, the second track we're going to play from Owen Williams' uh, EP, which you can get from Bandcamp.
So that was Owen Williams, and Owen is playing everything on that uh, track, apart from the drums, which are by Ludwig Sandklint. And uh, Owen also uh, arranged, recorded, written, and mixed the whole thing. So obviously putting all the skills he's learning on his course in music production to very good use. Now, I've been meaning to play this next song for you for ages. It's Two Kids by Nays Mitchell. It's on her Zoa album, or XOA. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, from 2014. She wrote the song when she was a student travelling through the Middle East at the time of the Iraq War. In northern Syria, a friendly receptionist at a hotel noticed her guitar and they talked about songwriting and poetry. And on telling him that she was writing a song from the point of view of two kids, one in the USA and one in Iraq, he wrote pages of verse um, from the point of view of the Iraqi child. She could only use the very first part of it, which roughly translates as, Why, Mum? Why did you cover up the window? This is why we don't get any sunshine, we don't see the light, we don't feel the breeze. Not today, not yesterday, not the day before yesterday, we haven't seen the eyes of the sun. Watch out, keep your voice down, watch out, keep the door closed. You say our home is like a prison now.
So I followed that very moving Anais Mitchell song, Two Kids, with a piece by Bert Jansch, that's St. Fiacre, from his Rare Conundrum album. Next, a song called North Sea Holes. It was written by Ewan McCall for the Radio Ballads, but this version is by Boreas, and it's from their album Ahoy Hoy from 2015. Come all you gallant fishermen that blow the stormy sea The whole year round on the fishing grounds and the northern ranch and the Norway deeps The banks and knolls of the North Sea hold where the head and trolls are there with North Sea Holes. That's a great track. Now, if you're looking for live music this week, there's plenty on. Uh, tomorrow lunchtime, Wednesday lunchtime, is the House of Manan and Foyer concert. Uh, this week it is Babs Killia around about 12.30 till 1.30. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, will be the O'Donnell session in Douglas. Uh, Babs is also hosting the Folk Club in Ramsey on Thursday night. There'll be the Mitre session on Friday night in Ramsey. And the Sunday afternoon session will be at the Laxey Sailing Club from around about 12.30 or so. So next I'm going to play a request. This is for our friend Tony Hewson. He was up at uh, Celtic Connections in January and he was very impressed by a band called Liar Liar. They're a three-piece consisting of Alice Allen on cello, Marit Felt on mandola and sitton, and Patsy Reed on fiddle, viola, xylophone and tenor guitar. And this is from their album Gin and Strathspey. The track is called Sam's Chicken.
Now, Joe St. Clark released a few albums with Ben Walker, which were quite folky and indeed won some awards. Uh, but she's perhaps moved more into the singer-songwriter area recently, but uh, in 2022 she released an EP called Now and Then, and it does have some traditional songs on. This is a great version of Raina Dean. One evening as I ran the among the leaves so green, I overheard a young woman converse with red. So that's just about it for this week. I've got one more track to play for you in a minute. Don't forget that you can get in touch with me via a folk show at manxradio.com. Send me an email and tell me what tracks you'd like to hear. Requests are always welcome. So one of the best live bands, you can see a Shalana gig. They played on the Island a couple of times and I saw them at Shrewsbury the other year. And one of their key members is Aaron Catlow, who's played at the Institute a couple of times, once with um, Brooks Williams. In fact, he's coming back in September this year to play with Brooks again and also with Kit Hawes. And Kit was in the band at the time that this recording was made. This is from their album Beard Town, and this tune is Bad Ken. See you next week. (laughs) 